Good morning, children. It's Sunday school time. Oh, good. And we're going to learn about Elijah. Have you ever heard of Elijah? Yeah. yeah. Can you say Elijah? Elijah. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. We live on earth right now, right? But we're not always going to live on earth. Where are we going to go one day? You know where we're all going to go? Yeah. Where? Do you know where it is? Heaven. Now, who wants to go to heaven? <laughs> These two aren't raising their hands yet because I think they're happy right here on earth. But before you go to heaven, what do you have to do? What has to happen to you? How do you get to heaven? Um, when you fly. Fly? That's a good idea, and that relates to our story today, but th that's not the way you get to heaven. To get to heaven, people have to do what, Iris? Well, yes, you have to get saved to get to heaven. That's a good point. But what has to happen to your body before you get to heaven? Die. Yeah, die. You have to die. Stop breathing to get to heaven. Your heart has to stop beating. But do you, you know, like Gigi died. But there are two men in the Bible that never died. They got to heaven without dying. And one of them we're going to talk about today, his name is Elijah. Elijah? Yes, you're saying that perfectly. Elijah was a mighty prophet of God. Do you know what it means, Erlen, to be a prophet of God? He spoke the word of God. He spoke the word of God? Yes. And he obeyed God. And he did what was right. And guess what else he did? Miracles. Miracles? Yeah. Now that, do you know what a miracle is? Um. He did 16 miracles. But what's a miracle? Do you know, Iris? Something rare, that's a good definition. It's supernatural. For example, he did Elijah didn't want it to rain for three years. And he prayed and it did not rain for three years. Now we're going swimming later this afternoon. Who wants to go swimming? Me too. Yeah, but it might rain. The weatherman says it's going to rain. But if it's a, but I ran last night with um with um I don't know what the word is and it already rained last night and now it's morning. But this is what I was going to say. If Elijah was here, he could pray and say, "Don't rain," because Erilyn and Penny and Iris and Grandmother and Mommy want to go swimming. And if he just spoke it and it didn't rain, that would be a miracle. He also raised a little boy from the dead that had died. And he made fire come down from heaven. Can you make fire come down from heaven? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Well, let me see you do it. No, you can't make fire come down from heaven. Well, Grandfather says you can. Maybe he's going to tell us how to do it later when he gives his message. But if you do make fire come down from heaven, it will be a what? Boy. A miracle. So Elijah did miracles. He was a prophet of God. And he had a school of prophets. 
when you get a little older, you're going to go to school. Iris goes to school. His best student was Elisha. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to school. You don't. Good. Mommy can homeschool you. Woo. But can you say Elisha? Elisha. That was his best student, Elisha. So here's Elisha. Where's Elisha? There's Elisha, his best student. And Elisha really listened to whatever Elijah said because Elijah spoke the word of God and loved and obeyed God. So for many years, Elijah taught Elisha. He taught him everything he knew about God. But guess what happened? One day, God told Elijah, it's time for you to come to heaven. You're not going to be here anymore. And God told Elisha that his teacher, the great, mighty prophet Elijah, was going to heaven. How do you think Elisha felt? Um, to heaven. To heaven is good. Elisha was sad. Are you sad when your friends leave, Penny? Yeah. So Elisha was sad that Elijah was going to heaven. So this is what, and this story is in the Bible, God's Word, and we're going to read it about it today. Elisha, I'm going to Bethel. You stay here. As the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So he wanted to go to Bethel. And guess who wanted to go with him? Uh, his mommy. His friends. His, <laughs> his student, Elisha. Um, so off they go to Bethel. And then here come the prophets. Now you two be the prophets. You're the other students. Okay. Okay, I'm a prophet. Say, I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. Okay. Now, you speak to Elisha and you say, hello, Elisha. Hello, Elisha. Did you know? Say, did you know? Did you know? That the Lord? That the Lord? That the Lord? Will take your master. Will take your master. Elijah. Elijah. Today. Today. Wait, what? Yes, I know. Oh, what? Verse 3. Yes, I know it. Hush. Okay. Elisha, I want you to stay right here. I'm going to Jordan. As the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So he tried to leave again without Elisha. But did Elisha stay back? Yeah. No, he wanted to go with him. So together, they went to Jericho. They got there. They probably prayed and talked. Then you prophets come up. You're the sons of the prophets. And you say the same thing to Elisha. Hello, Elisha. Hello, Elisha. Elisha. Did you know? Hello, Elisha. Good. Did you know? You're talking to him. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? That the Lord? That the Lord? 
will take your master, master. Elijah, Elijah today. Because God had told them too. God had told them too that Elijah was going to heaven. And so they're kind of like know-it-alls coming up. Do you know? Because God had spoken to them. And people get pretty excited and they can get kind of puffed up and, and prideful when God is speaking to them. So they're 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 coming up and they're saying, don't stop doing that too, Trusty. Did you know? I told her to not do it. Yeah, that's what they say. Did Mama, you know? I told her to not do it. Oh, Connie. Thank you. And then, you know, he says, yes, I know. Be quiet. Okay. Now it's time for them to go somewhere else. Elijah is going to the Jordan River. Who's ever seen a river? It's a big place with a lot of water. And you can't, you, you can't swim in the river. You're not supposed to swim in the river. Oh, if it's a little river, you can. But the Jordan, it was big. And you couldn't swim in it. Elisha, I'm going to the Jordan. You stay here. Verse 6. Verse 6. As the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. Okay, well, we're going together then. Okay, they get to this river. Can you make a sound like water? How does water sound? It's a lot of water. And I, we need to go across the river, Elijah. You say, how are we getting across? We can't swim. <laughs> I'm going to show you how. Okay. Picture the river. Uh oh. Picture the river. Elijah has his mantle on. He takes it off and he whips it. And the river parts and they walk right over together. Now you prophets, there were 50 of you. They were standing way back. They were kind of scared. Do your hands like this. They were watching what Elijah and Elisha were doing. And they go across the river. And then, Iris, you get ready. You're supposed to be in verse 9 now. Elijah says to Elisha, don't answer quite yet, though. Elisha. The Lord is about to take me to heaven. What do you want me to do for you? Now, suppose I told you, Iris, Penny, and Erwin, I'm going to heaven today. What do you want me to do for you? I'll do one thing for you before I go to heaven. What would it be? Give you a Give you what? Give you a Give you apples? Okay. Apples. You want apples too? Or what would you want? If grandmother was going to heaven, I'm leaving. I won't see you till you get to heaven. I won't see you for a long time. I'll do one thing. What would you want, Iris? Money. Money. <laughs> Money. Money. What do you want, Errol? What would you want grandmother to do for you? Baby dolls? Baby. You want some baby dolls? I want baby doggies. 
Baby dogs. Okay. Elisha, the Lord is coming for me. I will do one thing for you. What do you want me to do? Let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. So he said that he wanted a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Then, all of a sudden, hey, Dad, the song again. look what happened. A chariot came out of heaven. That's what the Bible says. There were a lot of horses, though. Can you imagine more than one horse? It came way from way up high in heaven. And the chariot had fire all over it. <laughs> fire! Yes, and Elijah and Elisha are there watching. Lots of fire all over the horses and the chariot. Elijah did how many miracles? Do you remember? 16. But Elisha wanted a double portion of Elijah's anointing. So if he got a double portion, I'm putting you on the spot, Iris, how many miracles would he do? Four. Four? Two times. Yeah, two times 16, which is what? I think I need to get my orange juice. 32. Wait till yeah. this is over. So it would be 32. It's almost over and you get your orange juice. So. Elisha did, I believe, at least 32 miracles. But do you know what else Elisha did that Elisha <coughs> did? He, he told lots of people about Jesus. Jesus. Yes, and that's what grandmother and grandfather do. We go to the campuses and we tell the students about Jesus. We tell them how they can get to heaven. Like Iris mentioned, you have to get saved if you want to get to heaven. You have to ask Jesus into your heart and love Jesus and obey him if you want to go to heaven when you die. So Elisha had the anointing to speak the word of God like grandfather and grandmother carried the message of Jesus. Now it's my hope that you girls will carry grandmother's mantle. And what I want you to do, sit right over here, Alice. I want you to start telling people about Jesus. Tell people that Jesus loves them. 
Tell them that Jesus will answer their prayers. Tell them that Jesus will save their soul. Are you willing to tell people about Jesus? Okay. <laughs>